Hi, this is Congressman Pete King. And uh, yesterday I marched in two Fourth of July parades in Wantour and West Beaker Park. Today I was taking a walk through Wantour, a the American Legion Hall, a firehouse down the street, a fire memorial a few blocks from here. And it really reminded me of uh, you know, the great men and women who have sac sacrificed so much for our country. People fighting in Iraq and Afghanistan today, cops, firefighters, teachers, none of whom really get much credit. And yet for the last, I don't know how long now, this low life, Michael Jackson, his name, his face, his picture, is all over the newspapers, television, radio. So all we hear about is Michael Jackson. And let's knock out the psychobabble. This guy was a pervert, he was a child molester, uh, he was a pedophile. And to be giving this much coverage to him day in and day out, what does it say about us as our country? I just think it's too, you know, we're too politically correct. No one wants to stand up and say, we don't need Michael Jackson. You know, he died, he had some talent, fine. But people dying every day. There's men and women dying today in Afghanistan. Let's give them the credit they deserve. So I really think the media has disgraced itself. I think that too many people in public life have made fools of themselves by talking about Michael Jackson as if he's some kind of hero. There's nothing good about this guy. He may have been a good singer, did some dancing. But the bottom line is, would you let your child or grandchild be in the same room with Michael Jackson? What are we glorifying him for? So anyway, let's take some time out to really look to the people that do make us a great country. The men and women of the armed forces, police, firefighters, teachers who work in really rough neighborhoods, people who volunteer with dying cancer patients, people who work in AIDS clinics. They're the ones we should be glorifying, not some uh, uh, pervert like Michael Jackson.